Um, we started off making flooring, larch flooring. Um, larch, for people who don't know what that is, is known as juniper in Cape Breton, or tamarack is another name for the tree. Anyways, it's very plentiful here in Cape Breton, so uh, we decided to work with a less used wood, and uh, it's very beautiful, as you can see by the cutting boards and the flooring. It's really quite, quite magnificent wood. And show off the grain of larch really well, and uh, it takes twice as long to make an end grain board, but uh, the durability is probably about four times the, the quality of, of a, a normal cutting board which is usually made with the face of the wood. What are some of the other qualities of the juniper wood compared to the other wood? Well, it's, uh, first of all, it's got a beautiful grain pattern mm. to it. Um, it's also a rot resistant wood, so it actually has really excellent antimicrobial properties. So if you're cutting raw meat on the board, it'll take care of that very quickly. Um, it'll neutralize the bacteria. And how do you clean the cutting boards? Basically just with a damp sponge is all you need. If you've been cutting raw meat or the board's, you know, kind of filthy, you put a little detergent on the sponge, the scrubby part of the sponge, okay. hold it under running water for a little while and, and give it a scrub. Never immerse it in water. Oh, okay. Uh, and, uh, and we also sell a, a maintenance product for them that's a mixture of beeswax and mineral oil. So when you first get your cutting board, we recommend that people use that about once a week on all surfaces. People forget their cutting boards have bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you use that for about once a week and uh, for the first month and then the, the board is what we would call seasoned properly and then you, you don't have to use it nearly as often. Okay, that's great. Yeah. And all the cutting boards are made locally in Cape Everything's Breton, made here, made? yeah. Uh, right across the road is our sawmill, so we start with the logs, we source the majority of the logs from here in Cape Breton and uh, saw them and we have a very large kiln downstairs that dries about 18,000 board feet at a time. And, wow. Uh, so yeah, everything's done here. So it's, That's it's great. nice. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah.